Yeah, they were hot in the MAC tournament, and we're started now. Freshman Liam Doyle on the mound. He's swinging like he wants 18 in a major way. Great pitch by Doyle for the first strikeout of the game. Swing and miss. Trying to get fastballs to tail away from him. Goes with the pitch, pokes it through. He's going to have a base hit, the first for Coastal. Gets a hold of that one, drives it to center. It's going to get down shallow center field. So he'll extend the inning. And that's an RBI. So Coastal, they lead one to nothing. Graham Brown, the batter, with runners on the corners and two down. On the ground, Jordan Herb throws it to second for the out. Unranked to start the season. And the 2-2 pitch gets the punch out. At the bottom of the lineup to help out a team that has a team batting average of less than 280 on any pitch. Even if it's a fouled off ball, it feels like that shouldn't happen. And look at that. Nasty. They've done a good job. And Brendan O'Donnell gets punched out at the plate. We head to the bottom of the fourth inning. That ball's going to tag Bourne, so a two-out hit by pitch. Big breaking ball rocked into right field. Bourne's going to head for third. Barthol extends the inning. And there's ball four outside to load him up. Odine reaches, hits it into center. It's going to drop down. One run, scores. Two's coming home. And the Sun Belt Freshman of the Year, Caden Bodine, comes through. Coastal leads three to nothing. Hits it on the ground, wins it, fields, and throws over. Oh. So. A little bit of a shift on for Herb as well. And he gets him, gets the strikeout. Another one, two, three inning for the freshmen. They came into this weekend hot. As ball four sails outside. No outs in the bottom of the fifth. One, one count. Gets a hold of that one in the air. Left field into the bullpen. A two run home run. Graham Brown, killer bees, his 15th of the season. Coastal leads five to nothing. And just when you think, I've got a six hole hitter there, 270 batting average, he does some damage. Well, it's 2,500, and there's another strikeout for the freshman. The ball just pops away from Bodine. Got the K. But it was a strikeout, so they get another strikeout. The ninth on the night for the freshman, Liam Doyle. That pitch misses, and they'll get a leadoff walk as he sits on a 3-0 count. And there's ball oh, four, so back-to-back -back walks. See if he can pitch himself out of the jam he created. Ardatzos rips that ball into right field. Everyone will advance, and the bases are loaded. Rips that ball into yeah. right field. The Bronx are on the board. Two runs are going to come home, and Jack wins it. Gets things going for Ryder. It's 5-2, to two, Coastal. Jordan Erb, the batter, goes down and Look swings. At this. That one gets over Barthol's head. Bardatsos will come home to score. He broke up the no-hitter. <laughs> and Coastal, they're mounting a comeback. The Ryder, excuse me. The first six innings couldn't buy a hit. Now in the seventh, they've got three. And there's another one. Hartman, wow. freshman. Are you kidding me? Into right field. Two runs are going to come home. He slides into second base, and we are all tied up. 
chops it up the middle. A diving Eels has no play. And now runners are on the corner, still no outs. First time he's seen the right-handed pitcher all night. Tapper on the ground, gets past Horn's glove. And there it is. Ryder all the way back, leads Coastal six to five. Another ball tapped up the middle, is gonna get through. They're gonna send the base runner home, no throw at the plate. The Bronx are hot, seven to five. And, and this hurts because the balls haven't necessarily been hard hit, but they've all been up the middle. Give the runner third an opportunity to come across the plate. Didn't do it. Big punch out. You want to keep it to just a two run game this late. Walk them. They're seeing pitches coming in at 89, 88, and they're hitting it. Goes down Look to get this. that one, brings in one run and another one. A pair will come home. The hit parade is on for the Bronx. They extend their lead to four. Erd lifts it in to left center. What a play! The Bronx have a new arm on the mound. As Zach Beach drops it in to right field for a leadoff base hit. That's off Alec Sakis, the new pitcher. Dooley gets a hold of Ooh. that one. Right field in the air. Gone. And gone. Ty Dooley, what a job to give a little life to Coastal. They still trail in this one. His sixth home run of the season, though. Don't count him out. Well, absolutely not. And anything hit to the right side of this ballpark is going to get catch the jet stream. Down 0-1. On the ground right. over Ty Dooley's head. He's got a one-out single. Fills up the zone with that bat. Scatini made it seven to five. And that ball is going to get through the right side. Extends the inning for the Bronx. Now they've got two on and two down. Goes down and gets it. Taps it on the ground. Eels fires over. And they get the out. Kerwin, 14 saves on the season with the two run lead. Oh, that's not going to help. That ball is going to get past Jordan Herb at shortstop. So Caden Bodine. Oh, oh it's going to get away from Scatini. So Bodine will advance to second. Bender up the middle gets through. Bodine's being waved home. He's going to come around and score. It is a one run ball. Game. Leave everything on the table this game. Try your best to lose that bracket. Didn't really know what they had. Dooley goes down, hits it in the air. John Volpe will make the catch for the third out. So those two runners are stranded. Hit in the first pair of runners for Ryder. Back in that seventh inning, that big seventh rips that one. On the ground, Eels makes the play. Last chance for Coastal. With an opportunity to get probably the most important save of his career if he can do it. But they're making it hard. Here come the chunks. Yeah, that ball is poked into play. Squares around again. The bunt drops down. Kerwin. Oh. Over the first. <laughs> wow. Now you have to be able to feel the position. With this ball taking this trajectory, surprise no serious consideration was given to go in the second base, getting the lead runner. Oh, he's airborne. Does he come back down in time? Ooh, that is. Oh, okay. All his stands, excuse me. Bodine switch hitting lefty. Oh, that sharp pitch hits Eels. Check over the ball gets by. Mihos is going to go to third, the throw off line. Both runners advance on an errant throw from Kerwin. They're gonna walk, are they going to walk him now with first base open? 
Lucky hits the ball right to Scott Shaw. The oh, Rose gonna play the play. Oh. Sliding in safely. It is all tied up. Oh wow. I mean, look, look at the runner. He's, he's got to go back. He does not get a good start. You've got to hang him out to dry. Look at that. Turn and make the throw. Oh, they could have ended the game. That ball is in the air. And we're going to extras in Conway. And Jay, you know as well as I do, those secondary pitches he's got are pretty ridiculous. But that one. And right now, you gotta try and put this ball in play. There it is, pushes the bunt on the first base line. Sharkey makes the play. It's been a huge key for them. John Volpe rips that ball into the outfield. Coming around to score for the Bronx. Jordan Herb makes it 10 to nine, Ryder. Volpe's taken off for second. Get started with your swing early. It's that one on the ground. It's going to get through. Coming around is Volpe from second base. He's going to score. Ryder leads 11 to 9 in the 10th. And Brian Scatini comes up huge. Extra inning ball game. 2 2 pitch. Blows it by him. So Sharky gets the strikeout. As he taps that ball on the ground, coming over is wins it. He can't make the play though. Graham Brown hit a home run earlier. He swings at the first pitch, making a long run. Oh, look the at that! Ball drops. It drops. It's in the bottom of the ten. Squares around. The ball gets away from Scatini. Dooley smokes that ball into center. Donald gets the catch. Play at the plate. Gets him to swing and miss. Ball four. Ball down. They go to the third base umpire. Mark Buchanan says no. Pitcher's lost his command. You have to call that same pitch. Bodine hits it in the air, center field coming over, walk a play! Brendan McDonald diving play to end the game! <laughs> oh, you have to love it. Ryder beats Coastal Carolina. They'll play Duke tomorrow on ESPN Plus, 6 p.m. Eastern. Coastal Carolina's heading to the elimination game.